Hi, this is Brandon at Android Device and Tutorials. Um, here we're going to do a quick video on how to um, upgrade the firmware on the Push to TV adapter um, by Netgear. Um, this is actually one of the better Netgear products, more stable. Um, basically what you're going to want to do is go to support.netgear.com forward slash product and then PTV3000. Um, once you get to this page, you'll see right here where you can download the firmware. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and download the firm, the newest version. Um, it will ask you to register, although you can skip it. Okay, and it will download. You can see we've already set it up, but uh, it'll download the newest firmware. Now what you're going to want to do is unzip this file. Now after unzipping it, um, you will notice there's a file in here called um, you know, PTV3000 and then the version of the firmware .sbin. That's the actual firmware upgrade. So now we close that out. And what we're going to want to do is open um, your Wi-Fi connection. Hold the button um, on the side of your unit for um, five seven seconds and you'll notice push to TV show up once you see push to TV go ahead and connect to that now once it does connect it's gonna say you're connected with limited connectivity that's okay you don't have internet obviously through that unit okay and once connected we're gonna to go to 192.168.3.1 and what this will do is log us into the unit itself. Okay, since we've already set it up, we already have the firmware updated, um, we will select this, locate and select upgrade, file on hard disk. Um, if you don't see this, you may just see on your initial one, it'll just say firmware update. And in that case, you'll just have the option to upload a firmware update. But when that happens, what we'll do is we'll go to where we've put that file. And we'll select the firmware, which will be that, and open it. Now at that point, um, since we've already updated to this version, at that point what's going to happen is it's going to install the firmware update, reboot the device. When it reboots, you will connect. You will disconnect from it on your computer and connect back to your standard network. And that's it. Your firmware is now updated, and you can continue on to actually connecting devices. Um, we will have another video on the actual device connection process. Thanks for watching.